I'll try with the shield and uh, vampiric armor combo. Um, I usually don't like going shovel on this character, so I think I'll pass on this pan. But I will get the coal, the walrus tusk, and a banana. I gotta get you. Or should I go for a spike shield on second round? I think I go spike shield second round, actually. And we can just turn that into a torch. Decent start. Decent start. Should win, though. He's only got a wooden sword. But then again, he also got the chili, giving him more heat and the healing, which sucks. But I think the battle is going to last long enough where we're just going to go to fatigue. He's probably just going to die to fatigue. Yeah. Good game, though. Um, ooh, that's interesting. I think we do get the jewel box. Got space? Jesus. I'm scared because I don't have a second weapon. That's what's, like, bothering me right now. The lack of a second weapon. But, bro, I have to get another spike shield, right? Like... I have to. I have to. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give me another spike shield. I also want to get this leather armor, but it's a little bit too early for it, I think. Well, it's like expensive and I don't have money. More so, not really like early, it's just expensive and I don't have money. Ooh, spike shields honestly saved us there. Okay, we got another sword, which is great. It's fantastic, but I doubt we'll have enough space to fit everything, unfortunately, because we definitely got to, uh, we already bought it, we gotta use it now, we gotta use it. So there we go. Um, we don't really need the banana, well, actually, no, yeah, just for the healing and stuff. We're gonna need more space next round, though, so we, got, we definitely gotta watch out for that. Going against a Reaper, I think we lose this. Their healing is just too good. For the survivability. Maybe not, actually? Ooh, barely. One health. One freaking health on us is nuts. Okay. Ugh, so expensive. Everything. At least they gave us space on sale, so that's good. Um, I say we probably just go Goober. Here. Um, since we got double sword situation. Do a little situation like this. Goober in the middle, and we'll go double spike shields on each side. For Stan, we'll go here. Man, I would love to put you somewhere, but meh. We're also going to need this mana orb, so we might as well pick it up. It's only round four. Um, hopefully, we can get a chili soon, because we got to turn that into a chili goober too. But our survivability is pretty solid, plus the six spikes. Definitely going to win against this guy. Okay, got you. That's actually good for the hero sword. I'm going to sell you just so I can buy that. And honestly, bro, I say we just put the jewel box in just to get us a jewel. Could help us out with money situation. Might win against this person. He's got double dagger plus a spear. Double spike shields versus that is pretty nasty. Being able to do six damage each time they hit me can pretty much just carry you until like mid game almost. Got a blueberry. I'll take that. Space. I'll take that. Ah, uh, there it is again. I'm gonna pass on it. I'm gonna pass on it. I'm gonna pass on it. Um, we just don't have the space. So, don't want to get a steel goober. I do, on the other hand, want to get myself a burning sword. And we might as well put this on something for the healing. Um, we can do this to do that. Getting two mana orbs this early, though, is actually really, really good. Really, really good. But we're just lacking space. The biggest thing that's carrying us, realistically, is that spikes, bro. It's the freaking spikes. Let's see how much damage spikes did there. It did 28. Burning Torch actually did 74. <laughs> space? Nice. We need that. Let's get you, you, and you. Alright. Then again, the, the shields are really taking up a lot of space. Ooh, we got a chili? When did I buy you? What the fuck? Was it last round? I think it was last round. Um, not looking bad though now. So that's good. Could put more heat in here. Alright, we're getting our chili, Goobert. Double spike shoes. Probably gonna win us this too. Because he's got double shovel. Only thing we gotta worry about is accuracy. Double shovel means you're not gonna have accuracy, which is unfortunate. So 
Spikes isn't really going to carry us, but this battle is going to last long enough where he's going to put a lot of poison on us. So it's going to come down to that poison plus fatigue versus Spikes, which looks like Spikes is winning. Let me see. Oh, actually, no. Burning Torch and Swords is the most amount of damage. Even with 8 blind and only 50% accuracy. That's crazy. I was not expecting that. But got our Chili Goobert. Friendly Fire. Man, I love that combo. Got to do. I got to do the combo. I have to. I have to. If you see at least one of those on sale, you have to get it. Okay, so now that we're here, it's so expensive, but we got to pick up both of those. Very expensive purchases. Um, we might as well put friendly fire on the play, which also means we got to have at least one mana orb for it to actually matter. Can I buy one of you now? What are we at? Four? Sell a bunch of heat for it. We don't really need it right now, though, so that's a thing. So I guess I just won't. We'll just stick with this. We got better heat generation. The only thing we're lacking is mana. Pretty much got the same build, except we have spikes. Um, he's got better heat generation, but... Oh! Barely. Him having the two bananas for that stamina generation really helped him out, but... Our spikes, with him just having two different forms of DPS, really helped us out. 40 damage a second. Wow, 40. Bro, what two bananas can do for you is nuts. All right, we got our first Hungry Blade, which means we're going to go ahead and sell this Burning Torch. Because that's a lot of money. Buy you, we'll buy the space. We could honestly sell one of the shields. And instead get the Dijon lamp for a proccing. Um, we have no block generator, so this won't proc, which means we don't really have to put it next to the Hungry Blade. To be fair. Um, and I think that's the play, honestly. I think that's the play. I think that's the play. Yeah, sell you so we can buy you for a generator. We're at five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, let's just sell some heat. We're not using it anyways. Just to get that. That can help us out with survivability. And we'll put you there for the increase in healing for... Honestly, just for the chili goober and the banana, I guess. Um... Since we're here, we might as well just put you down. Maybe we'll get the fucking orbs of proc, who knows. We're probably gonna lose this one though. He's got dra dragon scale armor, double axe with a bunch of jewels, stamina generator. He's got a good build, so I don't have faith in winning this, but we can still try, I suppose. Doesn't look like it's going well. <laughs> yeah. We'll take that L though. Oh, let's go. That's all the mana orbs we need. Another one would be nice, but... All right, let's sell you. Because we're picking you up. We're going to need you to... Can I roll for space? No? That's fine. Kind of, not really. Um, we can switch this situation like that. That should be able to generate enough mana for us that we'll need for a uh, friendly fire here. We don't really need the banana anymore because we're at 1.1 stamina instead of like the 1. Point whatever we were at like, before, so... The banana doesn't really matter. That'll leave us with four. Um, I do want to keep you. I guess we could sell two heats for you, but it's probably not worth. I do want to get you. Getting that cap will be nice, but the game doesn't want to give us space right now, so. Double Burning Torch, double Molten Dagger, and a Phoenix is very scary. It's gonna come back to life soon. Boom. I think we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. What are we at? 17 and 9. I don't know how we even won. What was our damage? The Mana Thirst? Can't believe the Mana Thirst did the most amount of damage here. I wonder if it was just because of that, uh, that 10 life steal or something, but I can't believe it did the most amount of damage. All right, we have you. Um, get both of you in space. So now what we need is the leather armor to turn into a vampiric armor. 
realistically. Get right back on that. Um, get our heat. Don't need the banana. Don't really need the Draconic Orb either, so I'm just going to roll here. Getting another one of you would be good, but we also just need to get that armor. The armor is the biggest thing. If we can't get that armor, we're kind of fucked, so... We really do need to get that armor. Hopefully we can. Soon. Corrupted arm still gurud on double Tuscan Piercer and a lightsaber is interesting. Might be okay here though. Hopefully. We're gonna hit him with that hunter. We're gonna generate enough heat to hit him with that hunter for sure. Any moment now. Boom! Good game. Good game. Alright, let's get you roll. I'll, I'll get you roll. Gotta get it. It's on sale. Yeah, we gotta get that. I'm gonna get that orb too. Because I do want to get a second mana thirst, but I also want to keep at least one orb on the field at all times. For the sake of proccing. So. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we could just get a combination here, why not? Just for the increased healing. Even though we don't really need the increased healing, but... Meh. We're gonna start lacking behind here, though, because of our DPS. Which is definitely evident. <laughs> just definitely evident. That's fine, though. Ah, we got that, too. Alright, let's just... I'm gonna just sell you. Just to buy that, so we can get that uh, Mana Thirst and get this space. Um, you know what? I'm going to sell you. Okay. Don't really need you anywhere. But I guess it wouldn't hurt to have you somewhere. Alright, I really need the leather armor game. I need it like next round. I need to eat this right here. I should have gotten it earlier. I saw it twice. But I didn't want to be I didn't want to be too greedy and ruin ruin everything, so. Uh I was lucky. Oh, he came back to life. Oh man. Coming back to life there and then taking hundred damage was insane, actually. That was insane. Plus the random buffs we got from the mana orb. Giving us a little bit more uh, vampirism, helping us out with that healing was also really insane. Because we didn't, like, no damage to do. Well, barely. Hungry Blade at 48. That's insane. Yeah, getting that double mana thirst is going to help. I think just that mana generation alone is what's really carrying us in a way. Um, I need that leather armor, bro. I don't feel comfortable buying anything without that leather armor. If I can get lucky and actually get it. I need that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're getting that too. Man, we have no block generation. We could literally get procs on a DJ line, which can help us out with our DPS. But we have no armor generator, which is sucky right now. All right, we'll just roll with this. Honestly, I'm going to just buy this as well. How much are we getting? 15? I believe it's all at 20. Let's see how this goes. On a freaking double axe. Oh, buddy. Damn. Good game, though. Good game, good game, good game. Good game. That's fine. All right, let's buy you. Space. I gotta get the space, bro. I, I want to keep rolling, though. Man. You don't give me infinite armor generation, though. By the time my Dijon's ready to proc, I'm gonna have zero armor from you. <laughs> it's just gonna be annoying. Although I could get sun armor. I should probably get sun armor. 
It's on sale. I, I can't pass it up when it's on sale like that, you know? Can also act as a proc. I can move this down here. It'll be a slower proc for this because that's two seconds versus three seconds, but maybe only oh all that bad. I mean, likewise, I could also do this. Like, this would work. And then I think the armor is probably a better proccing for the chili guru. Just in case we go against a person that doesn't hit that much, and this is like a 35% chance. Um. Did we get seven? Let's see. It sell you, don't care about you. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we could just put you right here for now. Moon armor. What does moon armor do again? Reflects debuffs and gains mana. Interesting. But then again, this, the healing from sun armor would be good. I think I'm just going to take the healing from sun armor. Do something like that. I'm surprised we got this far without vamp armor, but we're going to need it. Yeah, by the time... Yeah, all the armor is gone. And we still need time to get our buffs up and stuff. Literally doesn't matter. This guy is strong, though. Woo! Damn! Still had 100%. But we had no damage. Literally none. We could have had a proc and everything. No freaking... No damage. Had no damage. We probably lost to the spikes, honestly. 28 spikes? Plus, he had hedgehogs. Yeah, 246 damage from spikes, and the hedgehogs in second place. Had so many spikes. We probably feeding him spikes, too. At least we got sun armor now for a little bit more healing, so. That's good. I got it. I have to. I got to. There we go, finally. Okay. Finally. I, I kind of need to get you this round, if I'm being honest. Let's see what we can do. Um. Um. I don't really have many fires to sell. I could sell this. That'll give me seven. I mean, five. And then sell both of the heats for seven, I guess. Do a little situation like that. And I guess for now, I mean, no, we can put you there, put this, e no, put this here, actually, that's kind of perfect. Um, let's put you there and move this over. I was trying to move it over by two. Unless we do this. That would work. And then that leaves me two slots over here. For the armor. Alright, that actually works. Nice. And I'm just going to put this chili right there. And that can go there. Alright, this is looking good. Actually... I'm gonna get this mana warp too. Just for more mana generation. The more mana we can generate, the better. <clears throat> okay, that's a lot of armors. But I mean, we got our healing is pretty solid right now, which is great. If we can get like a quick proc on this orb, maybe we'll be able to get enough spikes and still have enough armor left over to get a to get a proc. Uh, we need, uh, we're close. I mean, there we go. We actually got a proc. Actually got a proc. Okay, we should be fine. Now we just need to rely on our healing and the damage from that item. From the, from that mana thirst. Because now it's doing 31 a second while this is at 6, right? So, yeah. Plus, con getting the continuous buffs from the mana orb procs, I feel like we should be okay. 
Although the 62 critical from that um, Dark Saber does hurt, but uh, I feel like we just have way too many buffs. Way too many buffs. Yeah, way too many buffs. Guess that's a good game. And now we got the vamp armor. The freaking vamp armor. Which I'm just going to put here and then do that. Honestly, putting both of the armors next to the uh, moon shield is probably the best, but... I mean, maybe I could, like, move this over here and do like that. That would work, theoretically. Something like this. I'm just missing a proc on that, which is the annoying part. Plus, I can't put uh, this here anymore, which is also the annoying part. I guess I could put that there. One more proc right here would be perfect, though. So this could be you. I don't mind it. Surround you with those two. <laughs> that works. And let's not do any combinations or any of our jewels because we still got armor slots. We got, what, two armor slots left to fill? So that's good. So yeah, now we should be able to get consistent procs on the uh, on the mana thirst. We got really lucky with this perfect sci-fi. We're gonna be generating so much mana, and we're gonna get so much mana to pro proc both of the orbs. That's gonna carry us plus sun shield with the healing, vamp armor. This is gonna be a testament here going against a dragon build. I'm over here gassing up the build, and I'm like, oh, dragon build. Hold up now. Let's see what we actually can do. Already about to be at 30, which is great. Got our first mana or proc. Still at max health, by the way. All right, we just need a little bit more mana. Get that first, uh, get that first proc on a degen lamp. Nice. Getting a second degen lamp will also help, just to generate spikes faster. So that's probably the next purchase we're gonna be making. Because right now we're really, realistically, we're only relying. Nice win. Nice W. Realistically, we're just relying on the proccing of the mana orbs to give us the spike generation that we need. Which isn't bad, but getting that second DJ lump would be better, in my opinion. Which means... I already sold the jewels. We're not getting any more jewels. God damn it. I forgot about that. Um, don't really need more blueberries. We really only need that one item. This could, I mean, could make everything faster and better, I guess. Why not? It's on sale. Didn't find it. But I, at least we got this. That makes this faster. Um, Makes this faster. I should probably do that instead since this is actually the one getting procced. Alright, this is the build. This was not bad, actually. This uh, actually kind of went way better than i expected it to um even with only one degen getting two would be nice but getting a bunch of mana generation in order to just get the mana orbs proc to give us a spike for the degen lamp we might realistically be able to get two procs on this if it's a longer battle maybe three and then vamp armor and everything yeah this is great yeah this is great this is a good build it's a damn good build. it's like a mana Mana Pyromancer build, pretty much. I could, you could realistically, honestly do this with mana, um, with the mana torch too. Just so you can have infinite, uh, damage generation, you know? I can see that working. Going against yet another, um, Darksaber build. It's interesting he went with moon shields. Don't know why he went with double moon shields. Personally, I wouldn't have gone double moon shields. Very interesting that he went with double moon shields. And we're hitting his health directly. So this is going to be a very fast battle. Very fast battle. <laughs> if we wasn't hitting his health directly, that would last a little bit longer. But Oh, I guess for the uh, the chance of protecting your debuffs. Because that's what, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100% chance. He had a 100% chance to protect his debuffs. That's probably why he went moon shields. I mean, it's any magic item though, so there's that. And he's going a second moon shield. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. But that was a good game. That was a damn good game, actually. A damn good game.
This proc looks like three times, or sorry, two times. Was it two? Well, yeah, two, four. That's 50 plus the default, the d default damage. So yeah, this proc, um, proc two times. Honestly, that was great. If we had another gen, we could probably get it, the proc three times just for the extra spike generation. That was great though. That was a good game.